Okay, everybody, story number 10, episode 33, beginning part five. We're still talking about safety from shade on the boat to keeping plenty of water available for the dogs to get to. We also talk about gators and crocodiles and the trouble that they cause. Ciao. Be sure to always keep plenty of water available to them. Spill-proof bowls are available at all pet outlets. We have lived 40 of our years in Florida, catching a glimpse of a few alligators and crocodiles over the years. From time to time, we come across them at times in a flash of surprise. And sometimes with casual respect, I am very confident of when I need to take precautions with my dogs, and when they can safely be at the shoreline or swim. Unless people foolishly and illegally have been feeding them alligators are typically reclusive and avoid people. Increased development has put pressure on the alligators' habitats, though your neighbors in any specific area will be able to tell you if their area has an alligator or crocodile risk for pets. American crocs are also to be noted. They are present in and around Turkey Point, Biscayne Bay, down to Buttonwood Sound and west across Cape Sable. And let's not forget the Florida Keys. These crocodiles are often described as more aggressive. The St. John's River was our home port area for a while, and we have seen some alligators there, but our only close encounters have been in the wilderness areas. Not at the marinas or around active docks. So don't walk the dogs along the wilderness shores. And a pet attack by a gator will be highly unlikely. We see hundreds of dolphins and manatees for every croc or gator, but be aware they are here and keep a sharp eye out for them, even if you have a large dog. Don't forget our little trip to the Marathon Florida Golf Course. The following story came out as I was writing the book. I guess we must be more aware than I thought. Keys, Crocodile Sweeps, Pet Dog from the Dock. When Janet and Larry Porath and their visiting family returned to the Key Lago home from a late lunch out, they heard a splash. As they relaxed in the waterfront backyard, it was the sound of their pet Roxy being pulled into the canal by a 10-foot croc looking for a meal. According to the witnesses, the croc sprang at least four feet out of the water at the seawall, nabbing the 65-pound mixed breed head first off the seawall. Neighbors across the canal spotted the croc swimming a few feet from Porath's house. Roxy was in its mouth. Crocs typically take a while to consume a meal, especially when it's a large mammal. Like Roxy, they drown their prey before going about their business of consuming it, said state biologist Lindsay Horde. Deputies with the Monroe County Sheriff's Office arrived almost immediately. After being called by the Poraths, the deputies called the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, and Officer Jason Rafter responded. A neighbor drove Rafter in his skiff in the canal, and the men tried to force the croc to release Roxy. The croc tried to hide under the water, but Roxy's body was too buoyant. Rafter kept slapping the water with a stick to startle the reptile, but it swam into the mangroves as Rafter and the neighbor gave chase in the small boat, and got closer to the croc. It finally let go of Roxy and swam away. Hi everybody, story 10, episode 33, end part 5. Poor Roxy got eaten by a gator. We tell everyone how to keep your dog away from the gators. And we tell the sad story of Roxy and the bad gator that got her. Ciao. Meow. <laughs> <laughs>